Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're going to continue working on part 6 of this video. Let's get started. So in the previous video, we were able to create the stairs, the railings, and we added some decorative sweeps here in front of the house. So what I'm planning to do is to create the landscape of the surrounding of this building. So let's go to level 1. And then we're going to click on floors under architecture. As you remember, we already created level of uh, floor number 1 and 2. So we're going to edit type this and duplicate. And we're going to rename this as floor 3. So that's OK. And then we're going to press OK here. So I'm going to click rectangle. And I'm going to click on the perimeter of the house. And then I'm just going to estimate it from here. I'm going to click finish. So if we look at it at 3D, we have this to work on. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to level 1 again. And then I'm going to add a boundary wall, wall around here. So I'm going to click architecture and then wall. Let's use a generic 200 millimeters. I'm going to edit this, and this will be duplicated and named as fence. And then press OK. I'm going to leave it at 200. And then this will be unconnected. And we'll have 2,000 height. So I'm going to click it like that. Something like this. Let's look at it at three, uh, 3D. And then I would love to have some grass area here because I'm planning to add in some trees and some bushes. And also I'm going to divide some of these floors to have a grass floor and some decorative stones. Also I want to change some layout. So I'm going to go to level 1. So instead here, I'm going to click CS or Create Similar. I'd rather add this opening right here. So I'm going to delete this. And what will happen is we'll have our kitchen right here. We'll have our dining area. And our ent entertainment area right here. So our living room. And here is where we're going to add the pool. So once we finish here, we could have the camera view right here. And it will capture the, in the front of the house. And then also... the swimming pool area. So it will look like this. So let's go back to level one. Actually, I'm going to shorten this. This is the floor. I'm going to shorten this. And I'm, I'm going to make this bigger.
let me hit finish and this one we're just gonna press AL to align something like that and let's start creating our pool so I'm gonna use wall I'm gonna edit this duplicate I'm gonna name it as pool wall and then press ok and then ok I'm gonna use rectangle and I'm gonna do it like this something like that and then I'm gonna edit this to have an opening right about here click finish let's look at it at 3d What I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of this and then I'm going to put it base. This one will be negative 200, 2000. But this one is 2000. So instead of that, I'm just going to drag this down like so. And then I'm going to use AL. To copy that. And then it's a simple creating another floor. So go back to level one and then click on floor, edit this, duplicate, and name it as full floor. Press OK, then just use rectangle. Click finish, Let's check it at R3D, and use tab, So here, we're going to offset this negative 1000, and we have our pool. And then also we need pool water, so I'm going to edit this. Duplicate pool water. Press OK, and this will be negative 500 only. So later on, we're gonna ju just adjust or change 
the materials once we edit the type. So we're going to put this one as water. Apply and then OK. So we have it at water. So let's go back to level one so that we can subdivide this floor. So level one, I'm gonna edit this. And what I'm gonna do is edit boundary. I'm gonna move this at this side. I will need to delete this area. Use align. I'm going to click finish. I'm going to edit type. Duplicate grass press ok I'm gonna put the material so that it's gonna be easy for me click apply ok and then ok and edit boundary uh, this one's I'm click finish. So this one should be floor number three, and then I'm gonna add in the grass floor. I'm gonna change this to grass. And let me do this for now. I'm going to use this. And then trim. Let me trim this first. Finish save project. So we have this and we have this for grass. And then we we need to get more floors for this area. So now let's click in floor and then edit type again. Duplicate. This will be floor number, I think, I believe, five. Edit. I'm going to put a, a random materials for now. Um, let's put in steel carbon. So 
something like this I'm gonna align this up to this wall click finish another floor edit type I'm gonna duplicate and then change the materials So this is done and if we look at it at 3D for now it will look like this and then if we look at it at our image it will look like this so just imagine different kinds of materials for the floors we're gonna have the grass right here up to here I'm planning to extend the grass up to here and then we're gonna put trees and we're gonna put this as water for the pool and some decorative stuff so to prepare this for twin motion I will need to add in the materials so for example for this exterior wall number four I will need to set up a material that I want to like for example I'm planning to put this as stone this will be stone so for now I'm gonna put it as stone blue and then once I'm in twin motion I could change the material from their materials there so I just need to have this to have different materials in order for me to set it up on twin motion it's because if I leave this as default if I change this one to a different materials all of the default materials that I didn't set up will be the same and it will be I will be coming back to Revit just to change those so I'm planning to change all the materials for now so that I don't need to come back here if I need to come back here it will be minimal changes so the next video will be the twin motion tutorial for this when I'm setting up everything so for now I'm just gonna change all the materials so thank you for watching and I hope you like the video please hit like and subscribe feel free to comment down below